Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a new release perfume to review. It is the brand new Calvin Klein Euphoria Intense. A bit of an unexpected release from Calvin Klein. Euphoria has been out for a long time. Wasn't expecting another version of it to come out, but it's here. So I'm gonna be letting you know what this smells like and comparing it to the original Euphoria. If you are new here, then hello and welcome. I have hundreds and hundreds of other perfume videos. I think I have a really old video going through all the different Euphoria perfumes. There have been many different versions, um, but it's quite old and a bit embarrassing, so I'm not sure whether to recommend that, but I do have it. And if you are a regular here, perhaps you remember that video, let me know in the comments. Um, but do check if you're subscribed, turn on notifications. I really appreciate your support trying to get to my 100,000 subscribers mark. And I will leave in the description box a link to my website, my newsletter, and of course to this new Euphoria Intense and the original as well, where you can get it across UK, Europe, North America, Australia. So Euphoria Original from Calvin Klein came out a while ago. Can anyone guess when it came out? It was actually 2005. So we're over 15 years now. And it's definitely an iconic fragrance. You've got Calvin Klein one, you know, CK1 and then Euphoria are the big famous ones from Calvin Klein. And I think Euphoria has done so well over the years because it really is good for lasting, it's strong, it's a quality fragrance. And because it is quite old now, you can usually get it really heavily discounted. Um, so it's great value for money. I definitely approve and recommend Soki Approved Original Euphoria. What does it smell like? Well, it's quite a sophisticated mahogany and ambery undertones, but it has all these very feminine notes on top of it. Uh, black orchid, lotus note, and initially you get a bit of a fruity mandarin as a pomegranate, slightly tart, um, but it's, it's very feminine and there's a bit of sweetness in there, a bit of violet, just very, very feminine, but strong, like powerful feminine. Um, I, I know someone that wears this and they really do, it's like their signature scent. It's probably that orchid note that really comes through, but normally with things like an orchid or a lotus, they can be very light, whereas They've, they've managed to crack that with original Euphoria and make it a good strong eau de parfum. Um, so very pretty. And of course the bottle is incredibly unusual. So the new Euphoria Intense, again, comes in the iconic long bottle, um, but we have it in this deep purple color. And this is brand new for 2021. So this one has a lot of that signature Euphoria vibe to it. I, I You can definitely tell it is euphoria but it, they've kind of updated it made it a bit different so it's not just a stronger more intense version of the original you still have that iconic orchid fragrance that pretty feminine orchid but the black currant is sort of amped up a bit more so it's a bit more fruity but it's like a deep wintry fruitiness and um, which i really like and then we have a patchouli base which isn't in the original that floral patchouli with black currants kind of give me a bit misty or eau de parfum vibes. The one that was recently changed to that new misty or one, which we don't like. Um, but the 2017 misty or one, it kind of reminds me of that, but it's not as musky. You you get the black currant and the patchouli. It's it's definitely a kind of thing we're used to seeing over the past few years with a lot of use of that black currant note in that patchouli base. I definitely like it. I would happily wear this you know on a day-to-day -day basis and with it being intense I was maybe a bit worried it was going to be really heavy very like a nighttime disco disco like a clubbing party scent <laughs> who goes to the disco Sophie um but I don't think so you could happily wear this during the day because the black current is like a main note so I think you could wear this at daytime and at nighttime and mm, probably any time of year really. Um, for me, black currant is a very autumnal scent, but depending on the weather and stuff, you know, I think you could wear this any time, perhaps just not in very humid climates. 
but it's it's interesting it's warm it's sexy but in an innocent way it's not got any sort of vanilla in or incense or anything that would make it quite grown up um, so it doesn't feel super old it still feels like that sort of young Calvin Klein model you know could wear it during the day and I think it really is like a tribute to the black currant fragrance note which is you know the black currant color it's really focusing on it it's almost a bit like a ribena or a vimto scent so i think this will do well because people do really like black currant me included and you could definitely layer this with the original because they both have that orchid note so they both have that very similar floral heart so you could easily layer this if you wanted to make your original one a bit more black currenty and i think you could layer this really with any sort of rose fragrance like a misty or to add a bit more um, impact to it so definitely Soki approved this new intense one and I'll be interested to see how this performs over the Christmas period but yeah a, a surprise release another Euphoria flanker but definitely one that I like so guys let me know if you've tried this new Euphoria Intense what do you think of it and let me know about your thoughts on the original Euphoria which one do you think is the best in the Euphoria range of all the different flankers I know the gold one was quite popular let me know down below in the comments I do read all your comments well that's it guys so thanks so much for watching as always leave the links in the description to where you can buy this and I will see you in the next video bye